one of the biggest challenges that entrepreneurs here in Sri Lanka has? I think there's quite a number of them. I, I don't know if, I, if there's any one particular thing that's very big. Well, the cost of money here hmm. is very high. Right. That's a huge hurdle. Hmm. What's the interest rate right now? 14%? Somewhere close Something to that. Something like that? 12 hmm. to 14? Japan is one and a half, two, hmm. right? Right. So the cost of capital is hmm. very high here. So if you're an entrepreneur, you're trying to get off the ground, and I'm talking about somebody who's really coming off the ground, that's a huge hurdle, right? Um, on top of that, there's a number of other things Myriad I can tell you, other. whether it's, you know, the rate of inflation or um, finding good people who, um, who can work with you. The other thing is a lot of people who start off here, um, say in the vehicle trade, hmm. you'll notice that a lot of people in the trade are hmm. the owners. Right. The ones buying the cars, the ones selling the cars, they're the owners. And you wonder why they never expand beyond, there are some, but uh, you don't see like a chain of car sales or hmm. things like that. Just here, one place. Right. Most of the time, hmm. it's one person, one place. Hmm. Um, and that's also partly to do with uh, how the business functions. It's a business that's difficult to expand. Hmm. You know what I mean? Um, there are so many, there's only so many things you can delegate to somebody else. Right. To do on the level that you would do it. Hmm. And because of that, you get limited by your scope hmm. and what you're able to do as a single person. My father exported hmm. over, I don't know, 1,500 plus vehicles a month to hmm. Sri Lanka alone, hmm. right? He was the purchaser. He was the seller, he was the accountant, he was the <laughs> he was everything, hmm. right? We had uh, close to 100 employees at the time in different auctions all over the country and stuff because at the time we, we didn't have the online systems that you do now. People had to actually go to auctions. Right. But they were just there to kind of support him. Hmm. Without him, nothing would have been possible. Nothing would have been possible. So there's, there's a lot of businesses I see where that happens. And that may be okay if what you're looking for is to have a better lifestyle and hmm. keep it at that. But if you're looking to expand, like, or to be an entrepreneur full time, that's not a good way to go. Well, the thing is, you got to go with that for the rest of your life. That's hmm. it. You can't stop. Exactly. You can't go into something else. You can't expand. So to do that, um, you need to find a business that you can scale. Hmm. And I think that's a that's a difficulty that a lot of entrepreneurs find in Sri Lanka as well.